ESPNU Super 60 ranking system for the juniors. And Finley Prep in the visiting blues as the 2C will control the first possession led by their junior guard, Corey Joseph. It's going to be exciting about this game, Dave. Both teams want to play up tempo, and neither team is going to change. Wow. Quickly, Richardson has a shot blocked by Glenn Bryant. He's a senior, considering several major programs. Will kill the top seed in the home whites here. They have not lost all year. Wow, Momo Jones not close on his first try. He's been their leading scorer in the first two rounds of this tournament. Key rule differences, coach. Eight minute quarters for of those. No shot clock, that's a big difference in the three-point line, the old men's rule. Yep, it's a lot closer, 19-9 for the high school, 20 feet, nine inches for the college game. Here's Lopez. Nice back door. Back door. Cut Richardson will finish, beautiful pass from Carlos Lopez, future running rebel to future Illini there for two. Beautiful execu execution in the half-court offense by Finley Press. They saw that Oak Hill was denying the wing and they went back door. Land penetrates, floater, too strong, put back Bryant. The pogo stick, Glenn Bryant, boy, can he get up. Senior from Detroit. Considering a lot of big time schools, including Arkansas, Marquette, South Florida. On his list, has the rebound there, outlets to Jones. Lamb only a junior, lost it. Bradley had it briefly. Comes to Momo, too strong. Gallon over the back. Didn't take long for Keith Tiny Gallon. And the nickname is quite facetious. He's 6'9, 300 pounds for his coach, Steve Smith, looking for a sixth undefeated season in his incredible career coaching in rural Virginia. Keith Tiny Gallon getting an over the back foul early. He's been in foul trouble in this whole tournament with fouls like that. You see Coach Steve Smith point to his head, said, Tiny, you got to think, big boys, think. Here's Bradley. There's two. Future Longhorn, so smooth. He has been the team's MVP for the first two games of the tournament. 15 points against Mountain State Academy in the first round. 27 against Montrose Christian here yesterday in the semis. Lamb falling. Look at the pressure. Richardson all over him. Tiny Gallon, future Sooner, baseline, a little fall away, almost hit that. Not a high percentage shot, not at all. Two on one, Joseph running, dishing, Bradley didn't know what he was going to do with it. And the Warriors get it back. Pilots led by Michael Peck, second year, this guy's lost one game total in two seasons. That was the Hargrave Military Academy of Virginia last year. They are a perfect 32-0 this year. That's remarkable. Coach Mike Peck has them playing unselfish and hard. That's why they're in the position they are today to take on Oak Hill. Prior to taking over the Finley Prep job, Michael Peck, video coordinator for Lon Kruger and Charlie Spoonauer, the two recent head coaches at UNLV. B. Sean Howard on the baseline. No trouble. Comes off the lamb. Momo penetrates, floater, got partially blocked. Bryant grabs it, possession arrow, the Warriors will have it. Well, you see the action is fast and furious early. Great athletes, we talk so much about these teams and their talent. You're gonna see some great pressure defense from both teams this afternoon. Really getting in their stance, getting after each other. Lamb. Tiny Gallon, a not so tiny slam for the big fella. Ground for Oklahoma. Look at the hands on the big fella. What a catch and a flush. Rank number 14, ESPNU 100 at ESPNU.com under college basketball recruiting. Check it out, full evaluation, and Tiny is there. Pull up, Joseph. Akanji handed the rebound, instead it's ahead, Jones, and he'll have two. That's what Oak Hill does best. They score from their defense. They pressure on the perimeter, they rebound the ball, and they're off to the races. Fabulous start out of Harlem, New York City. Lamont Momo Jones, originally a commit to Louisville, withdrew that. Then Virginia Tech withdrew that. Now he's thinking about three schools. Lopez knows where he's going. UNLV. Beautiful move by the big fella, Carlos Lopez, number 21 with the shot fake. Got closer to the basket and finished. He is a banger inside, very physical. Great defender, Tiny Gallon in traffic is fouled. You don't see many players today using the shot fake like Carlos Lopez did. It gets the defense off their feet 
and it allows you to get closer to the basket. A little old school right there by Carlos Lopez. More high school players should be using the shot fake and the pass fake. Here is Tiny. Had a game high 20 points, McDonald's All-American game, Wednesday in Miami. And the Tiny nickname is interesting because at one point, Paul, he weighed 370 pounds. Been a huge issue with Tiny throughout his basketball career, weight management. It wasn't that long ago, and then he got to Oak Hill and Steve Smith sat him down. They've worked on their diet and exercise and conditioning. He's lost 70 pounds. Mm. This young man has committed himself through his dietary habits and conditioning. Coach Steve Smith has made a big difference in his life. You used to eat burgers, hot dogs all the time, especially right before bed, had pizza, and now it's real chicken sandwich, no mayo, no cheese, no fries, a salad instead. Good for him. He's done a great job making himself a player. Two there for Joseph. Corey is a junior from Toronto, Ontario, considering several ma major schools. Just about everyone wants him. Each coast, every conference. I've seen Corey Joseph play numerous times. Dynamic scoring guard with a deadly three-point shot. He's the silent assassin for Finley Prep. In the corner, long range shot, Lamb. Missed that. Gallon tips out of bounds. And the Pilots will get it back when we return. We'll be joined by a special guest, Washington Wizards starter, Karan Butler, former Utah Husky. We'll talk to Karan when we return. The Rock for Maryland. Tiny gallon on the feet from land. Easy play.